how do we really know what's out there space is a pretty big place and after all we have never been farther from earth than our moon how do we know what the stars are made of this is the electromagnetic spectrum it consists of waves which vary in length from very long radio waves to incredibly short gamma rays a special part of the spectrum consists of waves that we can see this is called the visible spectrum we see different wavelengths as different colors ranging from red long wavelengths to blue violet short wavelength white light consists of all visible wavelengths together when white light passes through a prism a triangular piece of glass or plastic the different wavelengths are separated and can be seen individually this instrument is a spectroscope this one is attached to a telescope to separate the light from stars into a spectrum of different wavelengths scientists can then look for a specific pattern of wavelengths when any element is heated hot it begin to emit light the pattern of wavelengths emitted by an element are like a fingerprint each element emits its own unique pattern above you can see the pattern of wavelengths emitted by the element hydrogen when this pattern is seen in the light coming from a star it means that hydrogen is present on that star this is called the emission spectrum of hydrogen this is the pattern of wavelengths emitted by iron when iron is heated until it vaporizes as in a star it emits this unique pattern of wavelengths this is the emission spectrum of iron below is the emission spectrum of nitrogen if scientist see this pattern in the light from a star they know that nitrogen is present so by using a spectroscope scientists can analyze all the wavelengths that are emitted by a star and can tell exactly what the star is made of even though it might be thousands of light years away these are the spectrums of calcium uranium and oxygen what else can the light from distant stars and galaxies tell us when an object such as star or galaxy is moving toward us the wavelength of the light it emit are shifted toward the blue end of the spectrum frequency shift higher this is called the blue shift and the object is moving away its light is shifted toward the red end of the spectrum frequency is shifted to lower this is called red shift this phenomena the shifting of wavelength due to the relative motion of object is called doppler effect you have experienced the doppler effect every time you listen to a car drive by as the car is approaching the pitch is shifting higher and as it passes and moves away the pitch frequency is shifted lower shifting of wavelength can occur with both sound and light doppler effect is easier to observe with sound with sound you will hear a change in pitch Imagine an ambulance approaching a person standing on a sidewalk. As the ambulance moves closer, the pitch becomes higher. As the ambulance moves away, the pitch becomes lower. The Doppler effect is used to tell us the speed of a fast ball. To help police to catch people traveling over the speed limit, permit me to meet a neurologist. to identify and track storms such as tornadoes analyze the flow of blood through arteries to sum up a frequency is shifted lower redshift it means the object is moving away a frequency is shifted higher blue shift it means something is moving closer and the amount of shift indicate the speed that object is traveling how is the doppler effect used in astronomy 
This is the pattern of wavelengths emitted by the element helium. This is the pattern of wavelength of helium that is found in the light from distant stars and galaxies. We know it's helium because the pattern is the same but notice that all the wavelengths are shifted to the red end of the spectrum. What does this mean? First, it means that here is helium on that star and second, it means that the star is moving away from us, redshift. Remember, the greater the amount of shift, the faster the star is moving. Helium atom, helium slightly redshifted, moving away. Helium more redshifted, moving away even faster. Redshift object, object is moving away. Blue shift, object is moving closer. No shift, object is moving with the same speed. All of the light from stars and galaxies that reaches the earth is redshifted. What does that mean? It means that everything is moving away from us. How can everything be moving away from us? The only explanation for that is Big Bang. Universe is expanding. After F, the universe is expanding, then how long it must have been much smaller? The expansion began about 12 billion years ago. To understand the Big Bang, just imagine that the galaxies are located on the surface of an inflating balloon. As the balloon expands, every point on its surface is moving away from every other point. So what can we learn from the light from stars? We can find out what stars are made of by examining the spectra. We can tell that they are moving away from us and that the universe is expanding. We can calculate the speed of that expansion and we can infer the age of universe which is 12 billion years. All this just from star lights. Thank you. Subscribe to YouTube for more videos.